is um, more or less kind of like Elizabeth Mallory color theory, and I'll show you the different techniques. So um, right now, uh, Surratt's for hobos. <laughs> Look at that. So um, and Renoir is the dude you want. So. And what Pizarro is actually good too. So your reference is Pizarro, kind of a scumbling technique. Renoir is sort of a uh, big, bold scumble. This is good if you're like totally bored. Like if you're bored, you don't do it like your next two weeks. <laughs> do pointillism. Sweet. It's good. You know, a couple <laughs> weeks later, this would probably even come down to here. And then you can have a sky. This technique is way, way easier. So when you're doing these things, so you can see how uh, glorious um, these look. You have a wreck mold. So you're gonna take these things and then like the whites, different colors, I'll do like green. So for green, to do this grass, the sections that you use, you're gonna use larger so it actually works better. So larger formats work way better than like small little tiny drawings. That way you can use these like brushes. So, they're kind of like brushes, so if I do like a grassy hill, <clears throat> there's my hill. So then I'll have, the, have it stop here. So like with the hill, if you're doing like Pizarro kind of technique or Renoir, so the brush strokes, they're gonna be like this. These are some of the brush strokes. And then uh, you're gonna do like light glazes like this, you know, and you're not gonna do like uh, too much in regards to uh, like really blending it too much. And write down the maximum amount of heavy glazes you can do is probably only about like three, otherwise it starts lifting. And that, that sucks. Don't do that. Someone must have used the airbrush and not cleaned it. Yeah, I know. Dane. Someone was using white to do stuff so, or something. No way. So then, um, <laughs> then you have like uh, the different glazes, then I'm taking the smaller strokes. But then to do these things, I'll show you, this one's already like halfway done. Like with a tree, so you started with the tan or the brown. Are you, taking, are you using yeah. different strokes? Yeah, different strokes for different folks. Uh. So then here, I'm gonna do the darker values. And then the brush strokes are kind of the same as like painting brush strokes. Where the tree, I'm going more vertical. And to get rid of this pebbly texture, you gotta crush the hell out of it at some point. And then to crush the hell out of it, right now and get rid of all white areas in the, um, in the uh, pastel drawing itself. And then you can mix it up. Like you look at the colors in here, there's a lot of variety. So the Impressionist, which is what this is based on, post-Impressionism, so they use like tons of variety of colors and techniques on there. So they don't just use like brown for trees. You know, you gotta figure out what values you need. And then you're just scrubbing it. You can see how hard I'm pressing down on this. And so that'll start blending it in. So then you add the lighter values on top of the dark ones. So what I like to do first is to blend out the um, basic color and form. So color and form comes first, where I'm getting that sense of being rounded. And then I do texture later. So here's a little more brown. Complementary colored brown is actually blue. So you can throw, this is green in it, but you can do um, a little bit of blue into the brown and it'll look like a nice shadow. And the uh, prima donna impressionist, they didn't use black. So like brown and blue, a little bit of green, uh, that can even look like a decent uh, dark color. Did you not use black? Unless it's like- Dude, I do. In a figure, like the shoes are black or something. Yeah, I use black all the time. Once you use black, it's hard not to. Okay. I'm so glad you didn't go there. So anyways, then I'm, I'm gonna do, together. I'll even do black on this one over here. So I'm gonna go, here, put a little bit of texture in there for the shading, and then I'll go over the whole thing with brown to kind of dull it out. Oh, yeah. And so my strokes, you can see how thick this is starting to get, though. So this is one technique where I'm actually just applying. So then Degas technique, right down Degas subtractive technique, which I'll show you here in a second. So you can kind of see uh, the basic scumbling, really pressing it hard. And then you can use a palette knife and then you can actually start scraping away um, some for highlights and texture. 
So the palette knife will be able to scrape down to the lighter paper. And if you do um, kind of stain the paper with a base coat, then when you actually come down, you're only going to be scraping down to the lightest color, your first color. So I normally like to start light. Okay. So anyway, so this is kind of the technique. You can see how much I'm layering this thing on top of each other. And then, like the texture here, you can't even layer it. You can cheat, so-called cheat, and then actually go over this with colored pencil to get even some more detail. Yes, you over there can on the you side. you do a little bit of a figure? Yeah. Just to like show like, detail using colored oil Yeah, I'll do that. With that, you're just going to use the tips of the pencils, or the uh, pastels. You're just going to use so the tips of them. how do you avoid that little, like, you know, how it's like, hard to get like the perfect line? Like yeah, you just keep it loose. So those are like part of the style. And then um, the smooth one, this is going to be the smooth one. I think this will also blend out pretty well eventually. But I want to see, you know, how well it does without lifting. So greens, tans. Another technique is kind of cool, now that they're not here. Turpentine. You can put turpentine on it and it melts and it turns into an oil paint. But don't tell those people. Yeah. And then it just blends in. It's kind of magical. So, uh, oh, I like this green. And then for the texture, like I said, you can come in and actually scrape in. So you're actually drawing with the palette knife. And that'll go all the way through. And you're just gonna leave it like that? This is more, this is one technique, and then here, yeah, but this, this isn't white, so then it's going to be, then you go in, you add more weeds to it, grass. I'm showing you the technique, though. Okay?